So this is my Corolla here. There's been a million adventures in this car. I once saw a fire actually turn on there, or um, burn right about there. In the lower, I mean, in the right side of the trunk back there we're looking at, it caught on fire. I was sleeping, I learned how to sleep in my car at Planet Fitness in this car too. After going up to work. Um, then there's this, the dashboard here in that little AC channel up and down here, right up here. This is where rats would run up here. Um, and they'd hide in my air conditioning and this is when my car was running my run my car would run I've done quite a bit in this car Okay, and here like the rats would bed. I would have like hamster bedding or rodent bedding from PetSmart down there I've had rats breed in the back seat there it was it was only yesterday that I realized that there would have been no chance on earth that a girl would have ever um, gone on a date with me. I don't think that I've ever taken anybody on a ride in this car. And it goes to show why I'm probably throwing it away right now. But I'm glad that I took care of myself by buying rats that kept me company because I know that girls don't want me at this point in my life I, I'm, I'm not ready to get married and that's all I want in a date but yeah this seat obviously has not always been here you see this metal part this is where my lumbar vertebrae would I, I found out would I would later find out is actually not that uncomfortable to rest on lying down when this car, when this seat wasn't here and I was still sleeping in the car over winter time um, yeah my bird um, my bird was in here and then of course this this is the main problem when I'm th throwing it away, away probably right now is because this um, big hole. This is where I once left my keys on the dashboard and locked the keys in my car accidentally at Valmont. And so what I did, since I, it was the middle of the night, I, I bashed a hole in this windshield here so that I could grab the keys which are right here but that totally ruined the car because I didn't realize that it would have been so much easier if I would have just had the police come my main reason for heating my car in order for me to just break the windshield open like that is um I wanted to not procrastinate the uh, fixing the crack that was already all the way mapped across the windshield um, that I bought the car with that crack. Um, I thought it would encourage me to not procrastinate fixing the whole thing, which I could have done technically because AM slash PM, well no, Pick Apart Auto, which is a junkyard, they actually have a Corolla that I could have taken their windshield out of, but after I bought a, a butcher knife to finish taking it out, which it, and this is when it had already taken a couple days of trying to pry that windshield out of the car at pick apart, I just started shaking my head. I just thought, I don't know how to do this and I'm probably gonna run out of time because the thing was that the license plate stickers are running out. There's other things that have happened in this car that I can't mention. 
All I have to say is 92 Corollas will live to a ripe old age, I'm telling you, if you get one. They heal themselves, except if you don't take care of them, which has been the case with me. Is I haven't taken care of this car well enough. Um, I'm not enough of a nerd to have taken good enough care of this car, but I think I've done my best, which is all that matters to me. So, if anyone ever watches this other than me, don't be afraid of getting really old cars, but at the same time, don't be afraid of being with others including animals you can take care of rodents and cars they have what they need the only thing is they need good ventilation maybe ice packs with them don't try mice but rats will work maybe a dog I don't know I don't love dogs anyways um, for that I might also just stop. Have a good day.